We're going to talk about the digital divide and and what's going on there. And something that caught my eye this week is a partnership between Cisco and Telenor, which is um, a continuation. The, the two companies first established a joint partnership in about 2018. And this has been focused all along on supporting digital transformation initiatives, expand, expanding services for their mutual enterprise customers, developing security systems, which are incredibly important for the modern workforce and um, the modern distributed workforce, which is, of course, even more distributed these days than ever before. So the companies just signed their fourth iteration of their joint partnership agreement, and they're working to help companies leverage internet, mobile technology, and helping to close the digital digital divide. Um, I thought that part of what is what was interesting here is that part this particular iteration of the agreement involves piloting programs through Cisco's Networking Academy and Telenor's existing sustainability programs with pilots that are taking place in Thailand and Bangladesh. The companies are also going to target the Norwegian market, providing some enhanced services for business customers and offering as a service solutions, which are becoming more and more attractive um, as it relates to meeting customer needs. And so the, the overarching goal here for Cisco and Telenor is to take information and learnings from these pilots and, of course, apply them to Telenor's global uh, operations. Um, I noted that Telenor is joining Cisco's accelerator program, and this will enable Telenor's customer-facing team to better master Cisco's products and to ensure closer collaboration between the two companies. And, and that you know, is intended to spur innovation at a more rapid pace and to create value at a more rapid pace. And um, you know, we talk a lot about cybersecurity around here these days, and, and this is really, I see this as being all about champion cyber secure, championing cybersecurity, enhancing digital capabilities, and, and spurring digital transformation efforts, and, and also allowing, you know, at a time when highly skilled tech talent is, um, there is very much a dearth of that. I think that, uh, you know, having programs like this that are devoted to helping develop and fine tune these advanced skill sets, and then fostering collaboration between these two companies is, I think, a big deal. And, and, and this is designed to, you know, bottom line, allow the companies to deliver more value to customers beyond just connectivity. So um, I think that is a, a, an interesting, I'm glad to see this partnership continue. I'm glad to see the objectives here. I don't know if you had a chance to take a look at that at all, Ron, and have any thoughts on it. But I'm, I'm always a fan of anything that we can do to address uh, the, you know, the digital divide and and um, closing that gap where we can. No, it's a, it's a very important issue, and I think um, both Cisco and Telenor have been at the front forefront yeah. of addressing you know how to solve the digital divide. And uh, for example, uh, Cisco has been uh, developing the Rural Broadband Innovation Center in uh, right. North Carolina, and right. uh, that is targeted specifically at this uh, very challenge. And what I think is a, an important outcome from that, or you know, it's certainly something that is going to improve the ability of anybody who lives in a rural area or has limited internet access. It doesn't matter what uh, the scenario is, but it can boost uh, their outcomes in education, Absolutely. healthcare, um, you know, economics, and so forth. It, it, we've already talked about, you know, again, the digital workforce and more work from home capabilities. And that's it's, it's essential to have that internet connection. So you're not having to commute to the office, you know, two hours yeah. of round trip, for example, that helps the environment. It certainly boosts worker producti productivity and morale. And so, yeah, this is something that's very important. And I think it's also uh, key to uh, enabling uh, the ecosystem to really up its game. Uh, that is, uh, we uh, can use things like Leo satellites to really get uh, to hard to reach customers, but also become you know smarter about how we get 5G to people who are living in suburbs and other areas. Right. Well, where... and across the world, not just in exactly, the United States. Exactly, exactly. And, yeah. 
And so I, I think yeah, Telenor, uh, as we know, has a presence in the Nordics, but also has mm-hmm. presence in uh, South Asia. And yes, uh, B- Bangladesh, uh, Grameen Phone is the uh, Telenor operation yeah. there. And likewise, in Thailand, uh, DTEC is uh, the yeah. Telenor operation there. And I think uh, this will demonstrate the ability to really uh, address those challenges. And and I think uh, what's uh, important is that Telenor has been doing this in the Nordics, for example, using right. 5G fixed wireless access technologies in those hard to reach areas in the Nordics. And, and so uh, 5G FWA, I think is going to be a key part of, you know, how do we solve this? Yes, right. we can use satellites in some scenarios, but it's not going to be applicable in some areas. And we can use uh, fiber uh, in some areas, but we know that it's very expensive to roll it out to these hard right. to reach areas. But uh, 5G f- fixed wireless access can be uh, a, a key player in uh, addressing these digital divide uh, challenges. And so it's really about bringing these different technologies together and enabling it. Certainly, uh, Cisco brings key pieces in terms of streamlining routing, making right. you know the uh, networking uh, more accessible and more affordable up front. Uh, because one problem with uh, the digital divide is just being able to uh, spend uh, the right uh, funds on it. And that's why uh, over the last uh, couple of years, we've seen a lot of allocation by the U.S. Congress, for example, but also in other countries in the world to you know, address this. And part of uh, that was fueled by the pandemic. You know, when people were in lockdowns and it's like, well, geez, how am I going to be able yeah. to, you know, uh, work effectively? And now we know it's now we through, know. you know, robust know. <laughs> connectivity and certainly 5G is going to be yeah. uh, essential to all this. And well, so it's good be, to see this. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I think that what, you know, Telenor and Cisco learn as a result of the pilot programs that they're doing in Thailand and Bangladesh and in the Nordics, you know, they'll be applicable in other areas. And so I'm really looking forward to that and think that's great.